Hey there, sport. Beautiful day, isn't it? Say, you should go talk to Betty. She's waiting for you over on the playground. Have fun, sport. Oh, someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. I was just starting to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. I'm Betty. I live here on Tranquility Lane. Want to play a game? I knew you would. It's a really simple game. All you have to do is make Timmy Newsbum cry. It'll be funny. Come on, you'll see. Make him cry and then come back here and we'll talk some more. Hiya! Quit it! I'm gonna beat Quit! I'm... That hurts! You sure showed him, didn't you? I suppose it wasn't the most cerebral way to deal with the situation, but it was definitely effective. Consider the game won. And with that, you win a prize. Your prize is one question which I will answer to the best of my ability. I was known as Dr. Stanislaus Braun, but here I choose this identity. Do you find it unsettling? In this place, I can choose to be whatever I wish. And this is what I have chosen. You will find that I control a great deal around here. Why not? I've been in this place for 200 years. This is something to keep me amused. Much like my willingness to entertain your questions. Though now I grow bored. So I think I shall set you to a new task. Pay a visit to the Rockwells. They're very happily married, and I'd like you to change that. Put an end to their marriage, and we'll talk. Rationalize it any way you'd like. If you succeed, we'll continue our discussion. Hello! You? You don't belong here. You're not supposed to be here. It's not real. None of it. It needs to end. The suffering must end. We're not really here. We're not really talking. It's all made up. Make believe. We're sleeping, dreaming. The dream became a nightmare. It has to end. It just has to. But we're not in charge. He is. And he doesn't want us to wake up. He calls himself Betty now, but he's still the same. He can put on a new face all he likes, but underneath he's still evil. Braun. Bastard thinks because he helped create this place, he's God here. 
But I know he still uses the fail-safe terminal. I know it. It's in the abandoned house. He doesn't want us going in there because he's afraid we might find it. It's the only terminal to the outside. The only way to shut the whole thing down. You've got to find it. Hello. Well, hi there. Why are you asking me? I don't know anything. And why should I care about their marriage anyway? People around here should mind their own business. Take care now. Stop this doing that so oh. close to me. Better him than me. Good day. Good day to you. What? What are you talking about? Oh my god, what is that? Is that blood? And brains? Janet did this to Martha? She really did snap, didn't she? My God. Janet, what have you done? What on earth are you talking about, Roger? How could you? How could you do that to her? Have you lost your mind? Roger, stop it. You're scaring me. You should be in a sanitarium or a prison. You're out of your damn mind. You just stay away from me, you hear me? Quite a clever interpretation of the rules. I'll have to reset the system to restore Martha, but it's well worth the effort. You have taken a far greater interest in these little games than your father did. <laughs> he found the whole thing beneath him. You have amused me thus far, but I still don't think you're quite in a position to be demanding anything. Still, I suppose you've earned the right to some further answers. What would you ask of me? Tranquility Lane was designed to be a home away from home. A new way of sustaining life after the apocalypse. Vault 112 was the prototype. We never had time to build others. As the designer of the simulation, I was given special access. Everyone else here is only subconsciously aware of the artificial reality around them. Their conscious minds accept it as fact. I have no desire to leave. Here, I wield more power than I could ever hope to in the outside world. And I use that power to amuse myself. Now, for instance, you will do as I ask yet again, because I have power over you. Oh, come now! Show some enthusiasm! There are fewer rules this time. I'd like to see just what you're capable of. I'd like you to kill Mabel Henderson. 
please put some effort into it. Do something creative. Beating her to death won't impress me. Of course you will. And you never know, you might enjoy it. Good day. Hello. Well, hi there. Well, sure I can, sweetie. Let me just go light the oven to get it warming up. Appliances certainly can be dangerous, can't they? You are most resourceful, and you certainly do get results. You have exceeded my expectations. And now, we come to the last tasks that I have for you. Succeed, and you shall be granted whatever you wish. I don't recall asking for your feelings on the matter. If it has not been made perfectly clear to you, I am in control here. I dictate your actions and the actions of those around you. You will continue to do exactly as I say or you will find yourself suffering from a sudden and inexplicable aneurysm. <laughs> and that's if I'm feeling generous. For now though, you will become the pint-sized slasher. You will kill everyone in Tranquility Lane and you will do this because I say so. Behind the abandoned house, in the doghouse, are a knife and mask. You will use them to terrorize the residents of this quaint little street. He is a figure of myth, born of old campfire stories. You will make him a reality. The residents will know you and they will fear you. When they have all been eliminated, Return to me. Because I can, of course. I have total power here. I may do whatever I wish. And over these many years, I have found that I wish to see others suffer. I am afraid you're not in a position to decide what they do or do not deserve. They are under my control. Not yours. Now, if you're done attempting to change my mind, let's get on with your final task. After completing it, you will be free to go.
Do you realize what you've done? You've triggered the failsafe, ruined everything. The subjects will die, and I'll be stuck here in this hell alone. You ruined everything. Everything! I can't reset it, don't you see? The failsafe disabled the security protocols. They're all dead, for good! All my friends, gone. Now I'm stuck here by myself. He's been right here the whole time. And you were too dense to figure it out. The dog, you see. Man's best friend. But now you've taken all my friends from me. The Garden of Eden creation kit. It was for terraforming. For restoring the world after a nuclear disaster. Unstable technology. And ultimately boring. Why remake the old reality when instead you could create any reality you choose? Why do you torment me? You know who I am. You know that I am really Dr. Braun, that I created this place. And now I'm trapped here. It's all your fault. Run along now. Son, you've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. It's so good to see you, but... but what are you doing here? Well, I didn't expect Dr. Braun to be alive and insane. I thought I'd just find notes or holotapes. I needed information about Braun and his work on the Gek. I did indeed. Braun's work, the Gek was designed to readapt environments for living after a nuclear war. It's not entirely stable, but I'm sure that components of that technology are just what we need, what we've been missing all this time. I need to return to Rivet City. Once Madison knows about the Gek, I can get her to see that it really will work. I can't do this on my own. Madison and Dr. Lee has a team of scientists working at Rivet City. They'll have to help. The facility hasn't been used in years. There'll be enough work for a good number of people, and it will take us a while. The sooner I get to Rivet City, the sooner Madison and I can get to work. Yes, what about you? Why in fact are you outside the vault at all? I don't even want to know how you got out. As much as I appreciate your help, you were supposed to stay there, to make a life for yourself there, not out here. You were supposed to stay put. You could have had a good life in the vault. But I suppose it's too late to go back now, isn't it? The Overseer would likely have a shot on sight. Well then, you'll just have to come with me to Rivet City. You've certainly proven yourself capable enough. That's my boy. Let's hurry. Now that I know what we need, I want to get back to work as soon as possible. It started as an idea, really. Remember the Bible passage your mother loved so much? Free, clean water for everyone. What a difference it could make in the lives of everyone here in the Wastes. Over time, that idea took the form of a purifier. Not like the one in the vault, though. This one was gigantic, capable of purifying millions of gallons of water at once. We used the old Jefferson Memorial for the location, right on DC's Tidal Basin. Someday soon, I hope you'll see it work. In the year before you were born, things became difficult. 
There had always been something of a mutant problem in the city, but it became worse. They attacked more frequently and more aggressively. Support for the project eroded as time went on, when we couldn't produce any significant results. Progress came to a halt. And then you were born. Your mother and I had talked about what to do when that time came, but then I... We lost her, and I had to make a decision. I chose to leave. From what I understand, things happened quickly after that. It became too dangerous for the others to stay, and so the project was abandoned. Dr. Lee and her team left for what became Rivet City, and Project Purity has sat waiting ever since. I understand that you have reason to question a good many things I've told you over the years. But your mother, I've never lied to you about what happened, not once. She died giving birth to you. It was a difficult time. She was so eager to meet you, to make a place for you in the world. If nothing else, please believe that she loved you very much. Be careful, my son.